So let's start things off with a beloved holiday tradition, the return of Christmas movies to the Hallmark Channel. It's today's big premiere. Hi everyone, this is Julie Gonzalo. And Ronnie Rowe Jr. And welcome to the set of our holiday film. The calendar may still say October, but it's beginning to look a lot like December on the Hallmark Channel. Oh, Jingle Bell flowers. What could be more perfect for a Christmas wedding? The new rom-com Jingle Bell Bride kicking off two months of brand new Hallmark holiday movie premieres. I get to play Latina. I'm, I'm bringing a little bit of me that I've never really brought in before. And I'm very proud of that. Expect to see a lot more diversity in this year's films. Hallmark ousting its CEO earlier this year after the decision to pull an ad that featured a same-sex couple. The network hiring an African-American woman as their new leader and announcing projects featuring more diverse casts and its first gay love story. I think we should be telling stories about uh, all genders and all races and all ethnicities and you know everybody matters and everyone's story matters and I am so proud of the Hallmark Channel for doing this. The stars of Hallmark's morning show Home and Family also excited for the start of the holiday season. This place really is like a, a magical wonderland. I mean you show up and you're like wow no Christmas in the world can compare to a Hallmark Christmas. Listen I've been in, in a bunch of Christmas movies and there is something special about the Hallmark Christmas movies in particular because no Nobody anywhere can celebrate the true essence of what Christmas means, the magic of Christmas, like these Christmas movies. If we can do anything for the people at home who can't be with their families, at least we can try to spread some of that love and goodness to them and hope they feel it. Thank you for bringing a little Christmas spirit to my week. Check out Jingle Bell Bride starting October 24th on Hallmark Channel and Christmas Tree Lane premiering the same night on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. We want to talk more about the holiday season and how different it's going to be this year. Let's bring in our relationship expert, Donnie Meacham. Donnie, even without a pandemic, the holidays can be a tough time for many people, can't they? Yes, Sonia, you're absolutely right. The holidays can be daunting for a lot of people. We as humans, we crave interaction and we crave connection, but we just have to remember this will pass. There are people surrounding us who love us and care about us, and it can still be a happy and joyous time even if it's alone. Well, because many of us won't be able to travel and be with loved ones this year, what's your advice for those who find themselves really struggling with loneliness during the holidays? Yeah, my advice would be to remember that although we do have a biological family, we have a chosen family. And that is a lot of our friends who in most cases tend to live closer by us so we don't really have to travel. And also remember that technology is your friend. Pick up your phone and FaceTime with your family and just see their faces and send them a lot of love. And Donnie, any favorite holiday movies you turn to for comfort this time of year? I actually have a couple movies. One I love is The Family Stone. It's a little rom-com that will melt your heart starring Sarah Jessica Parker, but also Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, because it reminds me that although family drives us crazy and we often want to kill them, we still love each other at the end of the day. Thank you, Sonia, and happy holidays. All right, thanks so much, Donnie, and early happy holidays to you.